click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in this video we are going to see a problem on binomial distribution let us start with problem number 1 Assuming that 2 in 10 industrial accidents are due to fatigue, find the probability that exactly 2 out of 8 accidents will be due to fatigue. Now when to use binomial distribution? Whenever we have 2 outcomes say like success or failure, we can use the formula that goes for binomial distribution which says, which says probability of x is equal to r is ncr p raised to r and 1 minus p the whole raised to n minus r. Basically p is the probability of success, n is the number of events and r is the probability that is asked in the question. Here in this case to find the value of p they have told you that 2 in 10 industrial accidents are due to fatigue. So the formula for probability is n of a upon n of s that will give you 2 upon 10 which is equal to 0 0.2. After that the question that is asked in which number of accidents are considered as 8. So number of events that is n will be equal to 8 and the probability which is asked is for exactly 2. So the value of r will be equal to 2. Now let us write the formula. Here the number of accidents should be equal to 2. Out of we have ncr that will become 8c2. The value of p is 0 0.2 raised to r. Again the r is 2. Further we have 1 minus 0 0.2 raised to n minus r. So n is 8, r is 2. 8 minus 2 will give you 6. On further solving, 8c2 can be found out using the formula ncr which is equal to n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial. So this will give you 8 factorial upon 2 factorial into n minus r that is 8 minus 2 will give you 6 factorial. Here we have 0 0.2 the whole square and 1 minus 0 0.2 will give you 0 0.8 the whole raised to 6. On further solving 8 factorial can be written as 8 into 7 into 6 factorial. 2 factorial is 2 and here 6 factorial will be cancelled. Further we have 0 0.2 square into 0 0.8 raised to 6. Here we have 2 1s are 2 4s are and 4 into 7 will give you 28. 0 0.2 the whole square is equal to 0 0.04 and 0 0.8 the whole raised to 6 will give you 0 0.26. On multiplication of these three terms the final answer will be 0 0.2912. So this is the required probability. I hope friends you have understood this problem. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.